Senator Whitehouse. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Dr. Blasey Ford. A lot of people are proud of you today. Um, from a prosecutor's eye view, one of the hardest things that uh, we have to do is to speak to somebody who's come forward with an allegation of sexual assault and let them know that we can't provide the evidence to go forward to trial. It's a hard day for the prosecutor to do that. And so, both because making a sincere and thorough investigative effort is such an important consolation to the victim in that circumstance, and because it's what you're obliged to do professionally, sincere and thorough investigation is critical to these claims in a prosecutor's world. It may be the most basic thing that we owe a victim or a witness coming forward is to make sure that we give them a full, thorough, and sincere investigation. You have met all of the standards of what I might call preliminary credibility with your uh, initial statement. Um, you have uh, vivid, specific, and detailed recollections, something prosecutors look for. Your uh, recollections are consistent with known facts. Um, you made prior consistent statements, something else uh, prosecutors and lawyers look for. You were willing to and, and did take a lie detector test. And you were willing to testify here. Here you are, subject to professional cross-examination by a prosecutor. So you've met any condition uh, any prosecutor could expect to go forward, and yet there has been no sincere or thorough investigation of your claims. You specifically asked for an FBI investigation, did you not? Yes. And are you aware that when the FBI begins investigating, they might find corroborative evidence and they might find exculpatory evidence? I don't know what exculpatory evidence is. It, is. Uh, not helpful to your uh, recollection and, and version of events, helpful to the accused? Understood, yes. So it could go either way? Yes. And you were still not just willing, but insistent that the FBI should investigate your recollection and your claim? Yes, I feel like it would, I could be more helpful in that, if that was the case, in providing some of the details that maybe people are wanting to know about. And, and as we know, they didn't. And I submit that never, never in the history of background investigations has an investigation not been pursued when new, credible, derogatory information was brought forward about the nominee or the candidate. I don't think this has ever happened in the history of FBI background investigations. Maybe somebody can prove me wrong, but it's wildly unusual and out of character. And uh, in my view, it is a grave disservice to you, and I want to take this moment to apologize to you for that and to report to anybody who might be listening that when somebody's willing to come forward, even under those circumstances, even having been not given the modicum of courtesy and support of a proper investigation, um, you've shown yourself particularly proud uh, in, in doing that. And the responsibility for the decision to have this be, I think, the only background investigation in history to be stopped as derogatory information came forward belongs with 13 men. The president, Director Ray of the FBI, and the 11 members of the majority of this committee. As to the committee's investigation, the fact that uh, Mr. Kavanaugh's alleged accomplice has not been subpoenaed has not been examined and cross-examined under oath, has not been interviewed by the FBI, tells you all you need to know about how credible this performance is. The very bare minimum that a person who comes forward is owed 
is sincere and thorough investigation, and you've been denied that, and I will make a personal pledge to you here that however long it takes, in whatever forum I can do it, whenever it's possible, I will do whatever is in my power to make sure that your claims get a full and proper investigation, and not just this. Thank you for being here. Thank you.